Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Libra. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how, Libra, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, right? Uh, as well, if I would like to ask you, Libra, if you do enjoy my reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Libra, I would really be, uh, be appreciative of it, <laughs> rather, uh, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does support my tarot channel a lot Libra and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel in that way Libra and so yeah before we get into this reading for you finally uh for you Libra I just want to say that when it comes to my readings be sure to rely on your intuition because it's your life to live not mine put it in perspective I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you Libra you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the card that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by what's However, I believe my tarot cards are here today just to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, Libra, as you go throughout your week, but never making the decision in your life, right? And so with all that being said, Libra, let's get into your weekly reading for this week. So right now, Libra, I'm currently shuffling just to see the journey that my Libras are on right now. Uh, and then we'll just see where this journey, where your travels are going to go by the end of this reading, Libra. So let's begin now. I pulled your first card, which is Archangel Raphael, number six, the lover's card, Libra. So when you have this card right here, oh, by the way, Libra, write down number six for numerology to look at later. But as I was saying, I'll read off the card. It says intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions and good health. And so with the lover's card, Libra, I am going to weigh Sorry, our, anytime I start speaking a lot, Libra, I start retaining air. Um, I'm going to focus in on the message of uh, a decision needing to be made, Libra. It does seem like you were left with this um, in this type of situation of where it's like you're called to uh, move on from something here. I get this sense of where you have to make a tough decision in terms of for your future, Libra, it feels. It's like one of those things of where it's just like, you kind of wish you weren't put in such a position, Libra, but you kind of had to uh, do something drastic, walk away from something, right? Um, the clarifiers that I have for your lover's card, Libra, you have the star card as well as the eight of cups with the six of swords. So definitely the main theme here, Libra, is you walking away from something, right? Uh, both with the Eight of Cups here, this is always talking about having to walk away from something that's just like a, I mean, there are eight, there are eight cups there, right? But the situation itself isn't, uh, I mean, it's not 10 cups, right? 10 cups is that ultimate uh, fulfillment. Eight cups, yeah, it can sustain you, but you're kind of asking for more. You're asking for, because yeah, it does better for yourself, Libra, in some type of situation. Sure, it sustains you, but there's something more that you could have, right? And you have this gut instinct, I feel, Libra. You have this sense of that, right? It feels like some of you Libras are just getting a better sense of yourself. And um, I'm really proud of you for that. I celebrate you, Libra, because um, Six of Swords here. Now, keep in mind, remember, this is all under the umbrella of the Lover's card, Libra. So very much so a situation like i feel like this is tough for you to walk away from something with the six of swords as well like this isn't a decision that you're happy about making maybe you're kind of wishing that these eight cups here could have uh worked out to be ten cups in a situation so it's just like you're really holding out on a situation that feels like libra but now finally it kind of and i say finally because i feel like this is something that you've been fighting with for a while on how to handle this situation what to do in the situation you know some of you libras might have been in this place of being like does it like trying to find any other way because you're just repeating it's like does it really have to be this way does it really have to be set up in such a way that you have to move on, that you have to put some distance between you and something that you maybe perhaps didn't understand, Libra, why it has to, yeah, like, I just keep on getting this constant message of just not understanding why why something has to be in a certain way. Um, but 
with the star card coming in here, you are doing what is in your best interest, Libra. With the star card, you have a goal in mind. There's something that you're focusing on, Libra. There's some t uh, level of success that you're trying to obtain. There's some t level of fulfillment that you're trying to obtain. There's just something that you're focusing on and you're not willing to settle for anything less. And so if anything in your life in this current moment isn't matching this frequency for you, Libra, I'm just getting the sense that you're just doing away with it right now. You're just, this is just not, you're deciding that something's just not part of your story anymore. Um, and so that's a bummer, right? So right now, the journey, it seems like for you right now, Libra, is you've been in this place of having to accept something for the way that it is, right? Accepting something for the way that it is and uh, coming to terms with it and moving on from it, right? So now we get the idea of where my Libra is at in their journey. Now, Libra, let's look at where it is that you are going into for this week, right? What's going to be going on this week for my Libras? <clears throat> Let's see here, what's going on for my Libras? In okay, interestingly enough, Six of Air. Six of Air is Swords energy. Swords are equal is equal to Air, and so very much so repeating the same message of Six of Swords energy. So right off the bat, like, well, let me read this card first, right? And because the tarot cards all have like their own specific meaning, that's why I use so many Libra. Uh, this card says things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip, right? So that's why I say like this Six of Swords uh, are different in different suits and different decks, right? They bring forth different messages, the artwork's different, right? And so you still are on this journey, um, Libra, in this transition of having to put distance um, uh, between you and something else. But I see you putting distance and you have like a plan in mind, right? Again, I don't feel like you're happy about having to put distance, but then it's just like, well, like now that you're in this place, you have, like you're kind of ready to uh, move forward, right? You're kind of, I feel like, especially with the Six of Air in this one, because as the card itself, it does say the end of a difficult situation, uh, Libra, I do see you in this process of coming out of it now. And so what I would say is just uh, keep pushing through a little bit more. And <laughs> I know for some of you Libras, you guys have been going through a pretty rough stretch. Um, a lot of things challenging you, challenging how you would normally handle things, and you're, it's challenging your perspective, your mindset on things, Libra. And all I can really say is, yeah, you're probably having to let go of a lot right now, but rather than taking that as a sign of um, that you're doing something wrong, that you're not, Libra, uh, take it more so as, a, an a, as an affirming sign that you are in this process of growing and you're having to shed an old skin. So enough of that like rambling from me, Libra. Let's get these clarifiers for this Six of Air. <clears throat> Right, pull those two as well. So let me get these cards set up for you, Libra. All right. So the clarifiers you have for your Six of Air. We have the Fool card, as well as the Magician. Then the Four of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. And then the Five of Pentacles. So give me a moment, uh, Libra, as I take these cards in figure out how they want this puzzle set up for you, figure out what's going on in this current week for my Libra. So it, this makes a lot of sense to have the Magician card and paired with the Fool card, right? You're in this uh, transitional process, things are starting to look up for you. It seems like after the shedding of the skin, Libra, right, you're start for, ready to start anew, ready to embrace a new journey, right? The Fool does represent, like, a new journey of sorts, right? And then, and then following it up with the Magician card right after, you're really, I mean, even looking at the numbers zero and one, right, you are quite literally starting fresh into a new journey, Libra. I do feel as if like that last, whatever that six of swords or six of air energy is for you, Libra, I do feel like this is like the final stretch, the final challenge that you needed to um, overcome to help you unleash or unlock this new sense for you. I really just keep on getting like the sense of just like a shutting of the old, right? So six of pentacles with the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Some of you Libras, you probably have 
are just having to come to terms with the fact that you're investing energy into that the pentacles where you're investing your energies into before as the four of pentacles it probably just wasn't i don't want to say like it was a waste of time with libra but you're kind of just acknowledging where it is you're investing energy into where it's kind of just like a lost cause almost and so sometimes in that in essence you know because here's the thing i feel like whatever it is that you're putting energy into before it just wasn't feeling good and see that's the thing here as well libra i don't feel as if necessarily um it's almost just like a frustration where it's just like you knew like you know the potential of something right and because you could see the potential in something you're just like no like really trying to just make it work and so you kept on investing your pentacles your energy into the situation libra and it just wasn't a service to you um it wasn't making you feel good right and i feel you i see you just coming to terms with that libra and um moving on into that new direction even if it's hard for you to do even if that was like a hard decision to make and especially with that lover's card it shows to me just how uh intimate the situation was for you in the first place so um sorry to see that you're going through that right now libra so let's see what is going to be coming for my libra now what is going to be coming in the future what is in the works future works for my libras let's see here We have the High Priestess card, number two in the deck, Archangel Haniel. So, when you have this card coming in here, uh, I almost called you Priestess. When you have this card coming in here, Libra, this is a card of, well, let me read off the card as well. Uh, this says, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what it is that you want before acting. So, you start this journey of moving on, right? You're in this transitional process, Libra. Now you're just left with kind of you, yourself, and only answering to you, yourself. Now you're kind of having to rely on your intuition uh, because you're needing to, like, you're, you went through this transitional process, and now you start that new journey, and now it's kind of just like, oh, what do you do from here, right? It does feel like some of you guys might feel a little bit overwhelmed, feel a little bit lost in the next right move for yourself, Libra. Let's see. All water cards that came out for you. So let's get this down. We have the two of water for you with the five of water and then the nine of water. Now, water cards are the equaling to or equating to cups uh, because cup is water energy, dealing with emotions, a lot of emotions, right? So with this High Priestess card, it does seem to be like you're in this place of like, it does feel like some of you Libras, the one message I wanna really say and just give you guys a heads up about is, uh, you know, where you guys invested your pentacles into before, where you saw that potential, right, Libra? And you really wanted it to work out and what have you, and realized it just was doing nothing but draining you, harming you, uh, just bringing you to a lower mood, right? Uh, I kind of get you get this sense that that's going to, like, take a blow to your ego a little bit, and then you're going to start getting in your head. Um, and I really want you to not do that, right? Because with this dynamic, this is such a fear of one, making the wrong decision again, um, and a fear of like opening up a little bit. I feel, I do get the sense, especially with the high priestess, the high priestess is a guarded energy Libra. So I do get this sense that you get the biggest worry that you might have to have is your fear of like clamming up. But I do see a lot coming in for you, Libra, right? Get out of this five of water uh, period. Um, so this is just really like, I'll read off the card. It says things not turning out the way that you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation and crying over spilled milk. S tough love, Libra. The sooner that you get over this transitional phase, right? The six of air, right? Whatever that you have to walk away from, that was that tough decision. The sooner that you come to terms with this, right? And just keep it moving right? Get your closure, even if you can't get the closure from the other side, and it's a one-sided closure. Um, keep it moving, right? 
because I do see after you address that energy, two of water and the nine of water comes in of where it's just like you get a lot of fulfillment. I, you, if you end up having to clear out people, Libra, those people are going to be replaced with people that understand you even more, right? The people that would actually have you feeling good rather than feeling like whatever it is that you're currently feeling, Libra. So heavily though, I do just get this sense of where it's like because of this old situation, Libra, um, it really just took a blow to your ego. It took a blow and that's just something to uh, look at. Do not allow yourself, do not allow whatever the situation that you're trying to transition from Libra, do not allow it to harden you. That's something that I just want to say. Do not allow it to harden you. Um, do not feel defeated in this situation and just easier said than done, right Libra? But um, I do th see things working out for you really beautifully. You just got to get over this final rough stretch. And as you would expect, the last stretch of things, the last challenge before you overcome something, the last stretch of the race, it's always going to be the most difficult, but you can absolutely handle it, uh, Libra. So we get into all of this now. Um, I actually want to pull some cards on. Let's just see. Let's end this off on a good note, right? What uh, What is it that... Uh, what are the blessings that we have coming for Libra? Let's look at that uh, for you, Libra. Let's see what blessings are in the works for Libra. All right. So we have the Two of Pentacles. We have <laughs> the Eight of Cups following you, Libra. And then we have the Star following you. Funny how the Star and the Eight of Cups are all together. Um... Hmm. Libra, I do get this sense that, like, there's just such a heavy attachment, Libra, towards, like, whatever it is that you're trying to reach for as that star, right? There's just such a heavy attachment towards uh, releasing and walking away from a lot, Libra. Um, with this Two of Pentacles, it feels like you, this is the card of filling up your plate too much, having to manage too much, feeling too chaotic in your life. And then the Eight of Cups comes in of walking away from this, right? Now, so truly, Libra, this is such a week of where it's like, the best thing you can do for yourself is just what if things are trying to escape your life or leave your life rather, Libra, allow it to happen right this your path towards your wish fulfillment because that is what the star represents libra's wish fulfillment your path towards trying to reach and obtain this star is very much so attached to uh lessening or lightening your uh workload or your energetic workload things that are draining you right i really do like <sighs> yeah, libra's does really a, a lot of your blessings come from a lot of like detachment from things so really just be prepared for that libra again i just want to stress like don't take the sign of having to walk away from things don't take the sign don't take you having to move on and release a lot of things in your life right now don't take that as a sign that you're doing something wrong libra i feel like this is just the final stretch of things that you need to release in your life right now so Let's pull some final uh, oracle cards for you, Libra. Let's see, let's close out your weekly message, rather, with some oracle cards. See what the oracle cards have to say for you, Libra. Mm -mm. All right, so we'll start with the animal cards first. We have the penguin spirit coming in. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing, right? So if you weren't taking my word for it, Libra, right, which you don't have to, this card says it all, right? You're in the final stretch of this dark period. Um, you've been, you know, my penguin is my shadow work card, right? So you guys are definitely just going through a final rough patch. And so and then you have the Wolverine spirit. You're a lot tougher than you think you are. So Libra, even though that you're going through this rough darkness, pa patch of darkness, right? Remember that you're a lot tougher than you think you are. So keep pushing through. The worst thing you can do right now is to sit down and try to take a breather. Because I feel like that's when you'll feel the most overwhelmed. That's when um, 
I feel like you'll just, because here's the thing. I feel like if you're aware, if you were aware, uh, Libra, how close you were to making a breakthrough and like getting out of this like heavy period, I feel like you would be more than motivated of just like continuing pushing forward. I feel like my job in this reading is to just try to just motivate you, Libra, and to just keep going just a little bit more. Um, you have the waxing crescent moon, have faith in your dreams, do not lose faith, even if things are looking dark right now, Libra. You absolutely have it. Uh, trust the process. Remember that your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn, Leo, uh, in Capricorn, Libra. Um, your hard work is paying off. Again, it feels like some of you Libras are kind of like not giving yourself enough credit or feeling as if like um, what you're doing is just not enough. And that's just not the case, Libra. It really isn't the case. It just feels as if like What's happening in your life, the way that you're processing the signs isn't how the spirit's necessarily intending. Or maybe, maybe it's more so just like, you know, because I feel like there is an acknowledgement of just like how rough it might just be for you at this time, Libra. But just because it's rough, just remember that it's all part of the process, right? Uh, there's a, there's a purpose to this pain, right? So, yeah, Libra, that's the cards that I have for you for this weekly reading. If you did enjoy this reading, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, be sure to comment below which cards resonate with you. And then also, Libra, I do the weekly uh, tarot readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Libra. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not into tarot at all, Libra, I'd really appreciate it for you to send them their video for their zodiac sign, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, Libra, I love you so much.